Hey everyone! Today we are looking at Nostok, a fascinating species of cyanobacteria and one of the most common and important organisms on Earth. Cyanobacteria are photosynthesizing microorganisms. There are many species of cyanobacteria that look like strings in many small segments. They get their name from the Greek word for their color, pronounced quanos, meaning blue-green. The color reflects the presence of specific pigments produced by the bacteria to absorb light. It does form colonies that are encased in a gelatinous mass of polysaccharides, which give the bacteria its distinct look, blobs of greenish mass. The appearance of nostok gave way to names such as troll's butter or witch's jelly, both of which fit the green, sludgy, and slimy, almost seaweed-like exterior. Nostok is actually edible. It is most popular in China and Southeast Asia, and is usually eaten as a salad or stir-fry. In Cantonese, nostok is called fat choy. Chinese people harvest nostok in the wild and prepare a special soup during New Year festivities. It can actually fetch high prices, like 125 US dollars per kilo. Over-harvesting led to a ban by the authorities and, as a result, an appearance of fake fat choy made of starch noodles. Before you think about eating nostok, consider this. As a cyanobacteria, nostok can produce beta-methylaminoalanine, a neurotoxin that is capable of penetrating blood-brain barrier and can bind to proteins setting up for the prolonged presence and potential development of neurodegenerative disorders. Nevertheless, the most interesting part of nostok, in my view, is what goes on inside cells. Nostok bacteria are capable of a process called nitrogen fixation. This is what makes bacteria like nostok so important. It allows nitrogen from the air to become useful by plants for other crucial biochemical processes. Making up nearly 80% of breathable air, nitrogen is the most plentiful gas in our atmosphere, more so than oxygen. However, in its molecular diatomic state, it is stable and doesn't react therefore is unusable to the plants and animals on Earth. This is where bacteria like nostok come in. Through the process of nitrogen fixation, bacteria in soil use a special enzyme to convert the unusable nitrogen from the air into compounds such as nitrates and ammonia, which can be used by plants. In fact, species of bacteria like nostok can form symbioses with many plants like living on the roots, for example, that supply the fixed nitrogen compounds directly. Nitrogen fixation is extremely important, as the nitrogen compounds that bacteria produce are required for the creation of proteins and amino acids, which are the building blocks of living organisms. Without them, life as we know it would not exist. Adding nosto can increase the carbon and nitrogen content, which leads to better plant growth and health. When added to poor soil, nostok has the potential to make it more suitable for plant life by increasing organic matter. It can even help revive degrading soil ecosystems. We tried to cultivate nostok both in suspension and in substrate. Pure culture is difficult to obtain in a non-laboratory environment. So you end up with a mix of various microorganisms with nostok as a dominant species. Although such combination may be important for the nostok to produce some chemicals that affect the growth of their organisms in the mix and possibly help boost the growth of neighboring plants. Still, it's fun to grow at home. And nostok is adapted to extreme conditions. For example, you can dry it into a thin film and then start the culture again by adding water. Very convenient. As for cultivating in suspension, the trick is to grow with no nitrogen added. Otherwise, the green algae take over the culture. The process of nitrogen fixation occurs in special organs called heterocysts. On this image, photosynthetic pigments shown to have red fluorescence and nitrogen fixation compartment does not have such pigments. The presence of heterocysts is a feature that is used to tell nostok apart from other cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria are believed to be the first organisms to start producing oxygen on Earth billions of years ago. They were crucial in the creation of life on this planet. 
Nostok most likely originated around several billion years ago. Today, cyanobacteria are the most commonly found in either freshwater or terrestrial environments, such as growth on rocks or in mud. Nostok is a type of cyanobacteria classified as a gram-negative bacterium, which refers to the results a scientist would get when employing a specific staining technique while studying bacteria. Gram-negative bacteria have a hard cell wall, similar to the eukaryotic plant cell. Have you ever noticed colonies of Nostok in your backyard or while hiking? Let us know! For more content like this, subscribe to our channel and watch our other videos. Good luck and stay curious!